Okay, so depth first graph traversal is a method of traversing a graph that explores as far as possible along a branch and then it will backtrack. Okay, so again, we'll start at node A. We'll say what we do is we mark node A as visited and we choose one of the nodes that's connected to it. In this case, it can only be B. Um, and what we'll do is we'll call the same search again, but with B. So we'll say A, I've visited A, but it's not completely explored yet. Okay, so I'll visit A, and then what I'll do is I'll pick one of, what well, can only go to B, one of the um, nodes that is connected to A. So I'll get to B, I'll mark node A, B as visited. I can also mark A as completely explored at that point, because I've, I've been to B and there's nowhere else for A to go. Okay, so then I'll go to B, B is visited, I can choose a node that is connected to B that has not been visited and call the search routine to explore from this node because it's recursive, you see. So I can go to B and I can choose where I want to go. So B, I can either go to C or to D. Okay, on my example, I've gone to C. So I go to C. C, um, I can't mark B as completely explored because I've not been to E yet. So I've gone A, A was visited, then it was completely explored. B was visited, um, but not completely explored yet. So I'm down at C. C becomes visited, and I need to choose a new connecting node. I've only got the option of D because I've already been to B. So I go to B, I mark C as visited, go to D. I can now mark C as completely explored because there's nowhere else to go off C. So I'm at D. I can mark D as visited. I can choose a new connected and unvisited node and follow the same process. So I'd go from D to E. Okay, and then because I can mark D as visited and completely explored because there's nowhere else to go from D, E I can now mark as visited. Okay, because E is visited, I can then mark B as completely explored. Um, and I can also then mark E as completely explored because there's nowhere else to go. So it might be better if there was a bigger example, but essentially you pick a path through a maze or a graph. And when you get to a point you can't go anywhere else, you backtrack. And then I'll look for somewhere that I haven't been before off that node. And if I've done everything there, I'll mark them all as visited and completely explored. And then we'll backtrack again. And I should have probably done a larger example for this, but I'll try and make sure you should make a lot more sense when you start looking at some of the exam questions. But that method is known as a depth first search. Okay. And a depth first search uses stacks. And hopefully you've got a decent understanding of why it uses stacks because of it being a LIFO data structure, so last in, first out. So for example, imagine there was no connection there. When I've got to D, I'd need to backtrack. So I need to know, I need to get the last node I was visited and go there again. So that's why it's a LIFO data structure. So get, if, I, if there was no, no connection there, I'd go A, B, C, D. And then from D, I'd need to go back to C. From C, I'd need to go back to B. And then from B, I could go to E. And then the whole thing's done. Okay, so that's known as a depth first graph traversal.